Hello and welcome to Therapeutic Recreation Month. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to knit and how we've learned to adapt knitting to one-handed knitting. Enjoy our demo. To begin, we will introduce the basic knitting stitch. With your first stitch, slip the first loop on your left needle onto your empty needle, your right one, and pull the yarn so that the loop is tight. With the yarn in the back of the needles, insert the right needle into the first stitch on the left needles from left to right. Bring the yarn between the needles from left to right. Bring the right needle with the loop of yarn toward you and through the stitch, slipping the old stitch off of the left needle and continue. This week we are featuring acute care and rehab. As recreation therapists, our jobs are quite varied. Ultimately, we work with helping our patients transition from their homes into facility or from the rehab unit back into their homes and communities. We assist patients to reintegrate into the community by accessing community programs and adapting their leisure abilities to their leisure interests to maintain or build the quality of life. Leisure counselling is a key intervention of what we provide to our patients. We assist our patients in dealing with their loss of ability or independence, to focus on their abilities and continue to reap the benefits that they used to receive from participating in their previous leisure endeavours. Once patients realise the benefits and see success through leisure, their increase in self-confidence enhances their success in their own recovery or accepting the change that has transpired in their lives. Diane is now showing the one-handed adapted knitting. Leisure education is our next step to helping the patient develop their ability to see success. We offer adaptations to new opportunities to help grow a patient's repertoire as well as use different assessment tools to assist in their development. With leisure education, we focus on assisting the patient to realize the intrinsic qualities leisure has on their lives. As a recreation therapist, we are very involved in these stages to help support the patient. We do this by assessing facilities for accessibility related to each separate patient. We link community programs to our clients, such as the Therapeutic Aquatics Program out of the East Link Center, where we liaise our patients to the program and help with their transition into it with as much success as possible. We as recreation therapists therefore need to be constantly building our leisure repertoire to help meet the needs of our patients. Over the years, this is a, has included quilting, sewing, ceramics, painting, which is oils, watercolor, acrylics, knitting, crocheting, pottery, curling, cribbage, lawn bowling, horseshoes, snowshoeing, different relaxation techniques, yoga, bingo, cooking, crafts, gardening, horticulture, pet therapy, and so on. Everything that we do with our jobs, we have had to take on as our own responsibility to help build the repertoire of our patients so that they can benefit. This week, we're focusing on a team knitting project. On our display table, there will be a scarf that has been started and a hat, which Diane is going to demonstrate. Dan is just looping loosely the wool around the pegs in a anti-clockwise fashion, looping in a clockwise fashion. She then is going to take our little tool that we have and is going to demonstrate how simple our toque is going to be. Using the hook, and pulling up and over the yarn to secure the yarn down. Please follow this video for further instructions, visual and verbal, or on our table there will be instructions as well on how to knit and please encourage each other to work together on this project. Happy team knitting and happy therapeutic recreation month.